In Zimbabwe, on the 27th of August 2014, the Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program, implemented under the UNDP, held its exhibition and knowledge fair. I'm so excited. This is a very great day. We are exhibiting the great things that have been done through the small grants project of the Global Environment Facility of the UNDP. It's the good thing about the small grants project and today is that we can actually say this is what small seeds can do because every seed is the promise of a forest. This is a knowledge fair because what's the use of having knowledge and not to share it? Usually, big things start small. A warm welcome to the UNDP GEF SGP Exhibition and Knowledge Fair, organized to celebrate UNDP GEF SGP 20 years of sustainable action with communities. Two decades. We have never held such an event where we gather various stakeholders from the national government, civil society, research institutions, academic and private sector to exchange information. The National Coordinator for GEF SGP, Mrs. Titsi Wutao Nashe, introduced several representatives of various stakeholders and thanked them for participating. The Global Environment Facility Small Grants Program came into place after the Rio 8 Summit that was held in 1992. Jeff was a funding mechanism to provide support to projects that conserve the environment while at the same time improving people's livelihoods. And in terms of our focal areas under environment, the five thematic areas that we deal with, we deal with uh, biodiversity conservation, climate change mitigation, reversing land degradation, elimination of chemicals and protection of international waters. And also, we also have some Millennium Development Goals that also addresses SGP. We have Goal 1 of eradicating extreme poverty and hunger, Goal 3 of gender mainstreaming, Goal 7 of environmental sustainability, and Goal 8 of building and developing partnerships. And SGP is not just operating in Zimbabwe, but it has a global reach. Since we started in 1993, in terms of our work in Zimbabwe, we have allocated so far 5.7 million and we have funded 167 projects that are distributed nationally. The major area we have funded is biodiversity, which has 43%, followed by land degradation 22%, climate change 17%, chemical 7%, water 7%, then capacity building and knowledge management grants 2%. Also, really want in terms of GF funding is what you call co financing. These are contributions made by the grantees themselves, be it the NGOs and the community based organizations, in terms of cash and in kind contributions. This enhances their ownership. So, for the period we funded, we have actually about 13 million that we have realized in terms of co financing. Then other issues that also make sure that our grantees link up what they are doing it downstream to policy level. So the issue of impacting policy is also one of our major areas of work. Mrs. Wutao Nashe then highlighted achievements under each focus area and gave examples. Under biodiversity, we have the conservation of society one of them. They have a wetland they are conserving. So I was showing before and after and the species which are there in terms of biodiversity species, the birds, the flora, the fauna. The Ramsar Secretary General visit who visited Monaville in 4 February 2013 from Switzerland. A Monaville flare has been declared a Ramsar site. So we thank them for working very hard and being one of our best practices in wetlands conservation. Also under biodiversity, Mrs. Mutao Nashe mentioned aquaculture in Bendura, water harvesting in Nyanga, and in Honda Valley, both beekeeping and crafts from bamboo, among others. Under climate change mitigation, GEF SGP is funding projects focusing on fuel saving stoves, wind energy, as well as solar energy. Focusing on reversing land degradation, 
GEF SGP has supported Gully Reclamation through Christian Care in Gokwe and Mushingo. Then under chemical of organic farming, I was highlighting pictures on Makoni. And also want to highlight that this one received a, a global award, the Peter Initiative Award. They'll be going in September to receive the award in New York. Uh, I just want to say for the past 20 years, this SGP have played a catalytic role in contributing to both the global environment benefits while also addressing the life needs of communities. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we want now to just hear some brief presentations as well um, from the various projects. Our areas of focus were bio bio biodiversity conservation, land degradation and sustainable, sustainable forest management and capacity development. Step Trust has engaged in tree planting with schools and the Forestry Commission, wood saving stoves, gully reclamation using banana and bamboo plants, education and awareness in schools, as well as removing invasive alien species such as Lantana camara. We had 140 weavers of which uh, 88 were men and 52 women, 34 were youth. Our weavers had India training, China training, British Council training this year. The communities are very happy for being supported by Step Trust through uh, GF and UNDP because some of them were not working. They are now weavers, especially women. They are selling the products and gaining money to pay for their school fees and look after themselves. So it's an advantage for them to have this project. Our project is made up of uh, four villages, which are Mambemba, Bonde, Seze, Nyatondo. So we call it the Nyanga Cluster. The project has a total of 789 beneficiaries, 269 men, and 520 women. Our major achievements in Nyanga are the construction of water harvesting dams. We have four of them, one in each village. We managed to procure uh, pipes to transmit the water from the range using the force of gravity to the households where we use the water to uh, irrigate our farms. We have horticultural gardens where we farm as communities and agroforestry gardens. Anything that you can think of we produce in Nyanga. We also have what we term the butcher in the backyard. That is where we keep our chickens, goats, pigs. You don't have to worry about a balanced diet. We have protected five wetlands in this project and this uh, have improved the density of our forestries. Showing there we have reclaimed 49 gullies with this project using vetiver and sisal plants. And we are able to support ourselves, send our children to school. There is imp improvement in our food security as we now have more than enough to feed ourselves and you as well. As you can see, as big as I am, we are very healthy. <laughs> and because of this water harvesting from the wells, we have reliable sources of water, which is safe to drink. As you know, our water nyanga, you always buy it. And the biodiversity has been re restored. If Jeff did not come around, we would have nothing to show from nyanga. The, the forest would have been destroyed. The water sources, filled up with sand, so we thank Jeff, because what we have to show today is from Jeff's assistance. I don't know what 24 stands for, I guess they will tell us a lot more. Perhaps it means that there are 24 people, 24 projects, or 24 million dollars. We are a youth-oriented organization, which is working towards empowering youth through uh, initiatives in environment, initiatives in climate change, initiatives in renewable energy. The project itself focuses on three key aspects. Issues to do with climate change mitigation. And uh, there are issues where we are focusing also on enhancing uh, existing livelihood option within the community. Then the third aspect is on research. Climate change mitigation within the project. We have been carrying out some tree planting 
And uh, I, I can say it, it's, it's an achievement for us that uh, the ministry, our ministry now has since adopted the Green Valentine celebration, which was something that we started in 20, in 2012 together with youth in Mbul. We are also using solar energy technologies uh, in place of fossil fuels for the solar water pumps. And in terms of the livelihood enhancement activities, we are promoting uh, climate smart agriculture in, and also uh, there's some mushroom farming and fish farming where we are also even promoting organic uh, methods. We are also undertaking research in the area where we'll be investigating the impacts of climate change on our own culture activities. So overall, I think in terms of the impact of the project uh, we have, definitely uh, there's going to be a lot of employment creation. You see that a lot of green jobs are going to be created within the whole value chain process. This is going to unlock uh, the potential in youth that you will see that these youth are actually agents of positive change. Thank you. Delegates were then entertained by a short drama from Zia Group. Zia! Rabuna! Zia! Rabuna! Ah, oh, excellent! The drama focused on the dangers of veld fires, poaching, water pollution, stream bank cultivation, as well as land degradation, and highlighted the importance of chiefs as representatives of government. Who, who, who is the best poacher than me? When I, when I poach, and when I poach, I make sure I, I do the business. <laughs> so, naturally, what it means, Gary, after five years, there is no animal for your child to see. There is no fish for our children to see. The UN country director, Mrs. Verity Nyaga, extended a special welcome to the minister and all delegates. The UN are currently engaged in the process of drafting a new Zimbabwe United Nations Development Assistance Framework, ZUNDAF. This event could not have been held at a better time. We hope that best practices and lessons learned from the GEF Small Grants program implementation over the years will inform the new Zunda programming cycle. UNDP is delighted for the contribution made by the Small Grants Program uh, in Zimbabwe, uh, supporting communities to address uh, global environmental challenges while improving livelihoods. The GEF SGP has been in existence in Zimbabwe since 1993 and has funded many projects designed to address global environmental challenges while at the same time improving people's livelihoods. To date, 167 communities nationwide have benefited from, fund, from SGP funding. A total of over 5 million US dollars has been allocated to these projects during the last five operational phases. The contribution made by the UNDP GF SGP in Zimbabwe it enhances the Zim asset objectives in addressing environmental challenges through community participation. We can highlight the following landmark accomplishments. Well, one of our grantees, Makoni Organic Farming Network, won a prestigious Global UN Award known as the Equator Initiative for 2014. Conservation Society of Monaval, Cosmo, which initiated the writing of a local environmental plan for Monaval Flay for incorporation to the city of Harare Master Plan succeeded to achieve Ramsar status as one of the first wetland areas to be recognized in Zimbabwe as a wetland of international significance. I'd also like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the UNDP Small Grants Program for producing two documents, namely 20 years of sustainable action and the products catalog that show how small grants can make a big impact, not only for the environment, but also to the communities Mr. Luxon Chapungu from GEF gave a brief summary of the 20-year booklet, which highlighted achievements, mapping of GEF projects, challenges faced, and lessons learned. The minister then officially launched the 20 Years of Action booklet and catalog. The reigning Miss Earth Zimbabwe, Samantha Dika, presented hampers containing various products from different projects to the invited guests. The delegates went on to tour the stands. carrots or packages of Zaganaka, all in Europe, organic. There is a big market in Europe. 
Nema. Lemon. Lemon, yeah. We tried to work with them on empowerment, you know? Well, yeah, we've got, we got an MOU with the Ministry of Health. Yeah. Okay, so that's the plastic cap. And this is what they do. Wow. And it dies from natural. This is the amount of money. Ma, ma, bro. Ma, bro. Oh. And this is the way it was. Wow. We don't see that's very good. We moved from here at our school. We would like to restore the area to its pristine state. Um, it can be done. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's honey from Kikiping Projects. Well done. Increase. Don't know. That's a piece of money. So come millet. So come take me millet. From Chiret. Chiret. Oh. Yeah. So they are mighty small grains and they baked cakes for you. So come cake and millet cake. Afterwards, Miss Earth presented the awards to the four best stands. In fourth place was Conservation Society of Monavale. In third place, Nyanga Cluster. In second place, Makoni Organic Farmers Association. And in first place, Juru Environment Protection Association. Another round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Luxon Chipungu thanked the delegates organizations and grantees for making the day success. The African Center for Holistic Management was formed in 1992 to work together with, with communities in the Wange region and Zimbabwe as well as the Southern African region so that we are able to manage our lives and resources holistically. We enhance water and food security through use of training that utilizes properly managed livestock to reverse degra land degradation, restore watershed and crop failing crop fields to yards. So are you our address is back and our website also go on our website I make my rubs using salvage waste. I get it from the factories which makes material like this to make my rugs. I use my hand loom, this one, to weave whilst I'm at home. And I use natural dyes. This is lavender for soap and lotion making. And this is rosemary for soap and lotion making. And even oranges, I use them when making my soaps. I use tallow and caustic soda and medium to make them. <laughs> I'm from the Lutheran Development Service. We are operating a climate change mitigation project in Makwerere. Uh, this is focusing on uh, four major interventions. The first major intervention has been the wood saving stove, where we've done 248 wood saving stove. And already the impacts are being felt as there is reduced consumption of firewood. The second inter intervention has been uh, on food security. The third intervention uh, has been now the establishment of wood loss. Finally, the key achievement has been uh, the establishment of uh, bylaws on the environment by uh, Berengua Rural District Council. To us, uh, besides uh, selling our goods and marketing ourselves, we have learned from the other organizations 
and it is our feeling that if we had extended this for two days, we would have uh, more opportunity. <laughs> We call this Chingwa stove or Jeka stove. It is uh, promoted by Juru Environmental Protection Association. The stove itself is built by women builders. These two, Umayasin, are the builders. That's the fireplace. Then uh, this is the oven. We have got three plates. One, two, three. And this is the hot plate. We are promoting uh, climate change. Also, carbon em emission is reduced. So we like it and also we reduce cut cutting down of trees. And we enjoyed this fair because we learned, we learned uh, so much from different tables. There is something we learned from each table. But I think next time we are going to improve, even if we are number one for this thing. But we, are, we, we hope to improve again. It will be, I don't know which number. But we are going to be the biggest <laughs> number one. <laughs> well, I have enjoyed this exhibition with GEF. I had a great experience of learning many things. The process for honey with my neighbor. I'm from Yari Honey Producer Association. I want to buy it. I just want to thank GF for their help to take us to here. I'm from Nyanga Cluster, Chida. We are producing these from the water that we are getting from protecting our water sources. Unfortunately, our table is almost empty. People are buying. It was uh, a platform for us to share what we do, meet new people, learn new innovations. It was, it was lovely, it was wonderful. I'm, I'm Jane Jane. Just um, representing uh, the Zwarisekwa Environment Conservation Trust of Zwarisekwa and 2x2 Waste Recovery and Management of Airport. Basically, we are in environment conservation whereby we are doing uh, waste management, integrated waste management, uh, resuscitation of uh, forestry, destroyed woodlands, and uh, trying to empower the communities uh, in their livelihoods. Right now, we are working with schools in Airport and Zwarisekwa whereby we are teaching them how to grow trees, how to separate uh, waste from source, and they are doing very good because most of them, they are adapting to, the, to our training so good. You know, for us to come here and networking, net, networking with other organizations, it's so good for us, for us to get more knowledge, information on how we can articulate our programs. Hello, my name is Shemaine from Buja Conservation Trust. We're partnering up with the GEF to help the community of Mutoko for the granite, the black granite stone, which is being trans transported with the miners to outer countries to benefit the outer countries. So us, Buja, as the benefit, we are trying to stop the granite to be transported outside the country. It has to help our community. It has to help our people. So us as a community and as a Buja product trust, we would really want to stop this and to help our community and their families. In here, us, we learned a lot. We learned a lot from other people. They are products. We're very proud. And we really want the GEF to continue doing the great work. Good job, GEF. Keep it up. Hello, my name is Jimmy Moropa. I work for Conservation Society of Mozanakove, which is Cosmo Trust. We are into wetland conservation, uh, advocacy, awareness, and education. Mostly we deal with uh, communities as well as in schools where they come visit a model in Monaco, a model for play, what it looks like and uh, what it does. The values, functions of wetlands, the benefits we derive, and the effects of destroying these wetlands. From Tower Development Association. On the valley, we specialize in biodiversity in uh, the valley, whereby we have got some uh, nurseries for indigenous trees, we grow bananas, and uh, we have beekeeping activities, we have avocados, and pema pemba, and cassava. I have enjoyed it very much. I found it very educating.